Namaste, I'm Dr. Kavya Dendukuri, your liver specialist and your liver transplant specialist at Glen Eagles Hospitals, Lakhri Kapoor. So today I'll be talking about one of the most important organs, that's your liver and what can hepatitis do to it. See, we all know hepatitis means it's the inflammation of the liver, but we need to know what can cause this inflammation. Yes, we know fatty liver. Yes, we know alcohol can cause, but do you know that these viruses can actually affect your liver? So we have something called as hepatitis A virus, hepatitis E virus, Hepatitis B, Hepatitis C and Hepatitis D. Remember, Hepatitis B and Hepatitis C viruses are called silent epidemics. You know why? Because they're actually very, very silent. Do not give any symptoms until a very, very long time. And Hepatitis A and Hepatitis E virus generally can cause that acute jaundice, acute viral infection and very rarely can it produce into chronicity. So what you should be doing? What is it that you should know? One, Hepatitis A virus and hepatitis E virus can spread because of contaminated water and contaminated food especially in this season because we have a lot of cravings to eat pani puri because of the weather make sure you go to the right place make sure that the person who serves has gloves and the water that they use are hygienic water okay that is very very important because hepatitis A and hepatitis E is transferred because of a contaminated food or water that you're taking from outside third thing that you need to know is if it is spread Initially, people might have jaundice, they can have weakness, they can have loss of appetite, they can have fever and if the bilirubin goes high, more than three, they can have yellowish discoloration of the eyes and skin and urine. So initially, it is always better that you come to us, we see at which stage you are. Generally, hepatitis A and hepatitis E virus is self-limiting. That means your immunity itself can actually bring down and send the virus outside the body. But very, very, very rarely these patients go into acute liver failure. Okay, so remember when you're eating or drinking outside that your liver is calling out for help that please take care of me all right now let me tell you about hepatitis b and hepatitis c these are chronic viruses meaning initially if it gets affected in the liver how do they spread they spread because of body fluids most commonly because of sexual transmission blood transfusions dialysis tattooing ear piercing drug injection syringe needle holders and people who use a common single syringe so if you asked me many several years ago only single syringe was used to give injection to many people probably they must have got it then and people right now if you have to give a blood product we do check of hepatitis B and hepatitis C. So due to blood transfusions in centers like us, hepatitis B and hepatitis C will not spread because before donating blood and before even transfusing blood to people, this test is checked. Now, sexually transmission can happen. So it is very important that your partner is positive. He's He needs to be seen by us at a hepatologist. And if it is positive, because it can affect the liver, what can it cause in the liver? It can cause either acute liver failure it can cause chronic liver disease or in some patients it can also cause cancer in the liver so it is it is beautiful that nowadays we have come up with once a day tablet for lifelong wherein lot of these com complications for hepatitis b are completely prevented for a larger extent now let me talk about hepatitis c hepatitis c also spreads through body fluids so we have once a day tablets which have 100 percent eradication rates where we take for eight weeks or 12 weeks so now Nowadays, the treatments are very good, but it is better that you always get yourself checked, okay? So, hepatitis B has a vaccine so that you can never get infected with hepatitis B. Go take your shot right now. Now, let me tell you one small thing on this hepatitis day. Your liver is like your mother. It never complains, all right? So, before the mother complains, you take care of your mother. Don't hurt it, okay? Don't forget. Thank you. Medicine Made Simple Powered by Glen Eagles Hospitals Where good people make you feel better